Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another day of cinematic vlogging, or attempting to at least get better at it. I have a plan for today, but before we get into it, I want to go over some notes. The past two videos, I haven't really discussed any of them with you. It's been very busy here. The notes are going to be short and quick, so let's get into it. So the first thing is, is that I keep on reminding myself that I need to pack certain things and then forgetting it. I'm making a checklist, and I'm going to check it twice before I head out. Different days, different filming, call for different equipment. And when I do my summary of this challenge at the end of it, I will provide that checklist in case anybody wants it. So for the Big Rock Garden Park, the only notes that I have to add that I didn't say in the video is that there were more pieces than I originally thought there were. So when I was doing the timing, it kind of all fell apart. If I'm giving myself one minute and there's 40 pieces, that leaves me less than half a second to show each piece. In a vlog, I would have broken that up into two pieces, but since I made this challenge to be one minute for the shorts, I could have divided it into a part one and part two, just shown the art pieces themselves, or picked out my favorite ones and favorite transitions. I was feeling a little bit crunched for time, so I did keep that footage. I may re-release a different short for that. I also played around with some of the settings, and I wish that I had written down what settings I had set certain things to for each shot so that I would know what to do if I want to recreate it, which I do and I don't know how, so now I've got to play around again. I had a notebook on hand and I had plenty of time. If I had just said, hey, this piece with this setting, it would have been a great reference. So I think I'll be doing that in the future. And then for sailing, I do think that the short came out pretty good considering how chaotic the entire footage felt. <laughs> I'm not gonna give myself too much gruff. I was feeling very anxious at the time and it was very chaotic. And I made the mistake of turning on the camera, pressing record, and then setting up. And then I pressed record again when it was time to talk, which is what normally I would do. So I lost about 40% of the footage where I'm talking. Not lost, I just didn't record it. Rookie mistake, but again, I was anxious. So I'm going to give myself a pass and try to remember that for the future as well. So those are the notes. And now I want to shout out a Discord channel that I am a member of. And I have a link that will be good for two days after this video is posted. So if you've caught this video in time, it'll be in the description box below. The Discord link is Nerfcordia, and it is a Discord channel full of some of my favorite creators. There is Nerfy, Tiny Blue Anthropologist, Jade Speculation Station, and even a channel for me. There are commentary channels on there, vloggers, gameplay videos, and a whole plethora of others that are under the Promote Yourself channel, if you just want to look around and see what's out there. Also on this channel, there's a just chatting section where a lot of great people go and just talk and hang out. There's mental health and health and wellness, arts and crafts, food, gaming, gardening, beauty and hair, true crime, and one of my favorite sections, anime. Like I said before, it is filled with lots of great people, a community that just wants to chat and have fun, and it is one of my favorite online places to hang out. So if you guys are a fan of Discord channels, this is definitely one to check out. Okay, so for today's plan, we're gonna try and do like a little glow up thing that they do on TikTok. I don't think mine is gonna be as good as theirs. I know what my current capabilities are and it ain't there, but I am gonna give it a good try. I've already shot some footage of me in my Sailor Moon onesie and it is really goofy feeling, so I'm not gonna show you that footage. <laughs> I'm gonna show me doing my makeup, going shopping, and then an end result. So it'll be three parts, getting ready, going there, satisfying end of hopefully finding the outfit I want. I am specifically looking for an outfit for an event. So some of you guys may not guess this about me, but I actually used to love being a thrill seeker. Did a lot of crazy shit when I was a kid. I have very much changed, but I still enjoy getting my heart rate up in the forms of roller coasters and haunted houses. I love a good haunted house. And Steven is taking me to one next week for a date night in Seattle, which I could do without the drive, but it's worth it. I'll also be going to a sushi buffet, which may not be the greatest for my diet, but I really want it, so I will do it. I figure if they have sashimi, I'll mainly stick to that. So fingers crossed that there is a lot of sashimi. So I'm figuring between sushi and a haunted house, maybe a sweater dress would work the best. Also, a sweater dress is always the safest option for casual or a little glammed up. And I will be nice and warm, hopefully. I think my best bets to find that is going to be H&M, maybe Target, maybe Old Navy. I don't think Old Navy, but I'm thinking the mall is going to be my best bet. So with the idea and the outfit in mind, 
All I need to do now is pick a song to lip sing some of my makeup stuff with, which I don't know how I feel about this. I do feel like I'm gonna have to be pretending to sing a song like every five seconds, which kind of gives me the ick, but also I love how it turns out in the videos, so worth it. I do think a very big part of being a video creator is just kind of having fun with it and being able to laugh at yourself even when you do feel a little uncomfortable about things. I mean, pretty much anything new will feel a little uncomfortable until you get used to it. So, sure, why not? Do you guys know that song, Shoes? Shoes. 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 Oh my god. Shoes. What'd you expect? Condoms? Or? Shoes. <laughs> Just shoes. That's the song I want to use, but I don't know if I can. Also, I'm not really doing anything with shoes, but I, I, I want that good mixture of like a haunted, like a haunted vibe along with shopping. So I'm gonna probably spend, I'm probably gonna spend about half an hour looking for that, half an hour recording with you guys, and then another like 45 minutes probably getting the shot while doing my makeup. So hopefully my makeup doesn't turn out like crap. <laughs> I should probably clean my sink before filming in the bathroom as well. So there's that. All right, so with all of that to do and the plan in place, I say, let's get into it. These shoes rule. These shoes suck. These shoes rule. These shoes suck. Oh, it doesn't work. She offered me some eggs and she told me it would take me places. This is gonna take a minute. <laughs> Found the song. It's called Put It On and I had to listen to it to the 60 second mark because I know what I want the ending to be and I needed to see if it hits right and if the words match up good enough. That only took like 40 minutes. No, that, that was a lot of time. But at least we're ready to do the next part of the filming. Won't you keep it nice and clean? Won't you keep it nice and clean? Not freak out and cause a scene. I keep it together. I keep it together. I'm just gonna say it right here now, I forgot to do any form of a transition. It's all gonna have to be done in editing if it's a thing because I was just trying not to make a mess of my face before going out in public. While also trying to look at the lyrics on my phone and hit replay over and over and over. <laughs> it's very tricky and I knew it would be but that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I have just enough time to catch the bus. I'm gonna go run for it. Old Navy has their athleta wear like on lock right now. Everything is like 30% off and there are a lot of cute styles. I could have spent a thousand dollars in there easy. There was also only one sweater dress, but there was a cute shirt for 50% off that I was like eyeballing that I may come back and get. I'm gonna continue to look around, but I love a good long like button up shirt, like a boyfriend shirt that's completely oversized and it had pockets. I'm gonna hit up H&M real quick and Target and then decide, but I'll show you guys what I see along the way. So from H&M, what I'm seeing is that this season style is probably a mix between like 80s flash dance with the unitards with a Chanel cardigan. <laughs> Actually, it's quite cute. I'm just not willing to pay $50 a piece for it when it feels kind of like cheap fabric, honestly. There is a Forever 21. We're gonna check that out next before heading to Target. Old Navy might be the way I'm going because the prices are so good right now. And it's a very simple style, which I enjoy. And the fabric was really good quality.
back to Old Navy. From what I can tell, the prices are the best, the quality of the clothing is the best, and I at least liked a couple things there. I did find a sweater dress that I did like at Target, but then I put it on and I was in what they call straight sizes for a large and it looked like a huge bag and I was like oh do I just go get a small and I'm sitting there going no it just is the shape of it so back to Old Navy. <laughs> It's raining now, so we're gonna have to keep this short. I did get something. I'm very happy with my purchase. Let me know in the comments if you can figure out which one I got. I will say it's not a sweater dress. I didn't even see it because I was so focused on getting a sweater dress that my eyes didn't even register how cute it was until I gave up the idea of having a sweater dress. I really do love this one. And I'm really happy that I found something that I truly do love for a very decent price. And rather than tell you guys what I got, I will show you in the end result. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together, not show who I really am. Just be cute and super bland I try to hold it together Keep it together